Hey, welcome to Gracie Schwarzwald. I'm here with Erkan Mette, and we're going to continue on with our complete Gracie Jiu Jitsu self defense course. And we're focusing on the clinch work now, um, working through basic and fundamental and powerful clinch positions. Um, so we covered the 50 50, which is I'm under one arm, over the other, but I'm in front of him. Now we're going to work a variation that we call the modified seat belt. Okay, so this can start from the 50-50 or you can just go straight to it. I'm just gonna show you the position by itself without transferring from the 50-50. Okay, so basically, instead of being in front, I'm gonna be completely sideways to him. Okay, um, this is very much like the headlock position where if he grabs me in a headlock, the standing and I wanna be here. It's very much exactly the same position. My hips are glued to his, my posture is good, my, uh, my head is different this time. Okay, but we're here and we're holding the waist, okay, to keep him moving his hips away. Remember, if he moves his hips away, he can pull me down and he will have this arm. The difference is I'm not gonna allow him to lock his arms because I'm gonna be over this arm. So remember, wrist in my armpit, C clamp above the elbow. He tries to pull his arm out, here. He tries to lock his hands, it's not really gonna happen. And then we're here, okay. Now, I could have my head up if this was a headlock, because if he decides to let go, I'm escaping. I don't want to have my head up here, because he can take this arm in front of my face and start framing, okay, because I'm dominating this clinch, right? And when he has a headlock, he's dominating the clinch. When I get here, I'm definitely dominating the clinch, because I have single legs, hip throws, body locks, all of these sort of situations. So I want to keep my head right into his neck. Now, very important, where are you strong? Where you look at. Where are you weak? Where you don't look at. Right? If he can turn, here, push into me. Okay. You can't turn to face me, you're gonna be weak, right? So I wanna stop you turning to face me. Okay? And I, now, if I'm looking here, I'm strong. If I look there, well, my body's facing that way, but my strength is kind of going this way. And if I look down, well, that's where I'm gonna end up. So one of the mistakes I see people do is they get here and they're looking down. And now, yeah, he's gonna maybe start pushing my head down. Um, if he does manage to get his arm free, I'm in danger of uh, walking into front headlocks. Um, all of these things. If I'm looking this way, it's not bad, but yeah, he can start to turn his head into me and break that hold. Okay, so I like to take my forehead put it right in his neck or in his jaw. So we get here, I'm off to the side, I'm right here. Now notice, when I do this, I'm pulling in tight here, and I'm not staying upright. I'm actually bending him forward a little bit, because I don't want him to have this posture. I want him to be a little bit twisted off to the side. So we come in, it's right here. Because if I stay like this, there's a chance that He's gonna step this leg behind mine, do an inside trip, no, no, inside? Oh. Yeah, and then he can maybe take me back, okay? So when I go here and he tries that, <laughs> here. He tries to turn for a throw. Because I'm controlling this, there's not gonna be the hip throw, a sag, headlock, anything like that, okay? So he's gonna come into the position. Me? Yeah, let's do it on this side, okay? That way. Yep. Here? Good. Now look at his head. It's tight. Don't kind of be, don't. Um, here comes my, my best friend. Okay? Which means he also gets to suffer the most. When you have a training partner, don't go, I don't really want to hurt you. Don't injure your partner, but you fight like you train. Right? And if he gets in the habit of kind of having his head sort of weakly touching me, I'm going to make the frame and I'm going to break out of this. So he wants to put his head, yeah, here, I try to pull my arm, try to move away, I'm here. It should be very um, illuminating for the person, right? You want to get it. Now, if we were in the 50-50 position, what he can do is, he's, as he steps to the side, he's going to lift his elbow up, step to the side, and then move his head right in. C-clamp the arm, perfect position. 
So you can see how you can transfer in right into that position. Now, sometimes you may end up going right to that position. We'll cover later off of defending punches and things. But this is one of the most powerful kind of clinch positions you can get to, both to nullify his attacks and to set up a number of takedowns. Many of our takedowns are gonna be set up from this exact position. Okay, we can do them if we don't have that, but for me, that's the best for many of the takedowns, the hip throws, single legs, all kinds of things, okay? So that is our modified seat belt clinch.